Lax Infinity, he'll be there. How am I supposed to know if he is the other one? Like I did, you will just know. And he should be the one with the money. Are you sure he's ready for it? If he really is the other one, he will be. But for now, I am only delivering the single helix. Did you hear that? What? I gotta go. It's my other line. Remember, stay focused. Hello? Hello? That's weird. Come on, Tyrone, open the door, man. Yeah, right. What if I open the door and get shot? Oh, my God, man. They're not man. shot, they're expecting us. Why's it always gotta be the brother doing the dangerous shit? Come on, man, ain't nothing dangerous. It provides a pathway. Open the damn door. Hey, hey, I bet you I'll call Jesse. I will call Jesse Jackson. Man, why you gotta be up. such a pussy? Hey, hey, I've been told you before. I ain't opening the door. You want the door open? You open the door. I'm tired of opening the door. Come on, man. Every time we open, I, something happened to me. Don't happen to you. It happened to me. Hello, Theo. How the hell did you know my name? She's a contact, you dumbass. Please, come inside. My pleasure. Nice place. You have to understand that for our protection as well as yours, we had to meet here. You got the package? Do you have the money? Tyrone. <laughs> nice. All the access codes and routing points are here, ready for the transaction. Half a million bucks on your account. You got the helix? <laughs> How do I know that's the real thing? When you take this, all of your questions will be answered. Reality will cease, time will stop and you will be aware of your ultimate potential and purpose. Fair enough. What is it? Federales. Shit. And possibly some agents. Shit. Shit. How much time do I have? Seven, maybe eight minutes. Get them out of here using the north side stairwell. Use the helix if you have to. Now go. Deal's off. We have to get out of here. What? Then hand over the helix. No. Federales traced our location. If you don't want to end up in jail, get out of here. Use the north side stairwell. Well, give me the disc. I have to manually shut down the accounts. You'll be contacted later. You have to trust me. Uh-uh. Not Jesus. this bitch steal our money. Where'd you get the guy, Deja? Oh, what do you think? I'm in it for the ride? Yeah, maybe they are, but not me. Look, I don't trust her. It's too dangerous to give you the helix now. We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Put the gun down. You can tell Chad that you just spent all this money and you have nothing to show for it because no. I am not in this now. Hey, Chad. All right, let's go. You fucking everything up. Ain't no wonder we ain't got nothing. Come on, Pete. God damn it. Tyrone, is this the right way? God damn it. Captain, you were given explicit orders. No one is to go near the suspect. Uh-huh. The orders were for your protection. She could be using... The Helix. The Helix? You're wasting your time. That's his treatment. I've been a DA for 10 years and a federal officer for two, man. No such drug exists. Now I got four men out there and no one is going nowhere. 
No, Captain. Your men are already high. Orale, wey. Generales, please. Manos arriba. Chiquita. Oye, mira, está guapa, eh. Párate porque vemos las nalgas. Mira que la cogeo usted. Hijo. Está buena, eh. Agarra la chica. It's times like these you really gotta think, do I need this limb? Shit! I'll bet you $20 that my men bring her back alive, okay, man? 20 bucks, says. Your men come out lit like Christmas trees. Case of tequila. Mm. Oh, uh, what the fuck are we doing here? What the hell is this? Oh, shut up and take it. Jeez. This, my friend, is the fat of the land. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. I want you to slap me as hard as you can. You want to tell me how she got away? She should have died on that one, man. The helix is real. That's impossible, man. Helix or not. Nothing is impossible when you're enlightened. We need to get the drug. Do we have a lock on the dealer? Yes, we do. He goes by the name Theo. We'll need to find his whereabouts and posse. It has already begun. Go shoot her in the face. Watch where we are. Watching gay porn in the big house. Shh, God. Watch and learn. Women. Ow! Thea? Yo. What the fuck are you doing? I'll be right there. I, uh, uh, drop, I'll drop my beer. Right here. Somewhere. What are you doing, man? Let's go. Y'all go ahead without me. I'll be right there. Come on! Here. Oh my God! 
Who is it? You're early. Yeah. It's her fault. Oh, shut up, you little shit. You're not putting this on me. Hey, 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 easy. Where's Theo? Theo, go bye-bye. This doesn't sound good. Come inside. Let me tell you a bit about who we're dealing with here. What's going on? Meet Nuvo. Being the leader of this drug addled pack feeds his ever expanding messiah complex. Tyrone is constantly terrified he's gonna get shot. Being that he's the only black guy in this movie, how much you wanna bet by the end, he gets shot. Oh yeah! You didn't take it yet, did you? Oh my god, it's full of stars! This is Ping. What can I say except that Ping has consumed more drugs in his young life than Keith Richards and Elvis put together? Did you do it? Well, where is it? Let's go. Can we smoke it? Chad is the type of weasel that would sell his friends out for a good steak dinner. As for me, I'm your completely pointless narrator. Wait, let me start again. Well, where is it? Let's go. Can we smoke it? You didn't get it. They have it. What? Are you out of your freaking mind? That's half a million of my grandmother's money. My inheritance, half of it, gone. How am I supposed to live on half a million dollars, Tyrone? Why don't you relax, Chad? Relax? Good, man. We relax? That wasn't your money. Motherfucker. You said it was real? The ultimate? Our reconnection with God? Enlightenment in a box? I knew you were full of shit. I would have killed you now. You better kill off me, man. Whoa. You better get off me, man. It's enough. Okay? Now sit down. We need to fix this right now. We have to find Theo. No. We don't need to find Theo. Theo could be gone for days. Now tell me, what exactly did they say? She said that she was going to contact us. How? The computer! Is it on? How'd you do that? White bunny. What white bunny are we supposed to be following here? That white bunny. <laughs> Psst. Hey guys. I see rapid people. He 
says it should be fun. <laughs> this shit ain't right. How do you know my name? It says so right on your name tag. Oh, yeah. I hate those things. Where is our money? Right now, you have to listen to me. I know why you're here. It's not the money you care about. It's my friend's money. His grandmother's very sick. So what we have to do... Shut up and listen. I know why you do yoga. I know why you have joined the five. And why night after night, you meditate, practicing obscure esoteric traditions instead of sleeping. Because I'm lonely? Because you're looking for it. I know, because I was once looking for it too. And then I met this other guy who was looking for it, and his cousin was looking for it. And his uncle's pet turtle's vet was looking for it, too. Then when I found it, I realized I wasn't looking for it. I was looking for something else. What? I don't know, but I'll find it. It's the question that fuels you. You know the question, don't you? Are you on the pill? The Helix, Nubo. Oh, yeah. What is the Helix? The answer is out there, and it's calling for you. You could be the other one, Nubo. The other one? Shut up and kiss me. You're a woman. Most guys do. Okay. universal power. Your actions in this world are simply an expression of the choices in your infinite conversation you are having with yourself. You see, you are resigned to being late because of your inability to see who you really are and what you are capable of. Am I clear? Are you trying to tell us that the FBI is going to pay us to learn to surf? Yeah. It means that if you say you are going to be here at 8 a.m., be here at 8 a.m., not 8.01, not 8.02, 8 a.m. Mr. Champion, Chief Enlightenment Officer for the Five, the world's biggest self-help conglomerate. If you three are late, then we are all late. 
So you see, you either choose to be here on time, or you choose to keep yourselves and all of us from being our ultimate enlightened inner selves. Now, we wouldn't want that, would we? Oh, no. No. Now, back to your groups. I hate that asshole. I think he's nice. He gives us boobs. I, I mean, lollipops. Oh, shut up, Ping. You'd be happy with a damn turd pie. It's good. I'm going said, to be late. Why you said that? That's true. Chad! Ah! 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 Smack, Crack, Jonesen. To what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from Special Forces? We have information pertaining to some of your students. They were attempting to purchase... And distribute... The Helix. Super drug. Enlightenment in a pill. <laughs> You're still chasing that goose. It doesn't exist. Besides, a five devotee is dedicated to enlightenment through the five levels of enlightenment we teach here. Level one, realize you are worthless and meaningless. Level two, spare us the refresher course, Mr. Champion. You know we are all five devotees. You are the elite. But we all need a reminder for now and again. We need to locate one of these three individuals. Spend time together much? Yes. No. Oh dear. Well, which one? I don't know. Choose. Him. Never liked him. Looks like a weasel. Where? Where? They're in group reconciliation right now. Oh, look, can I get you back in my office, please? Thank you. Now, who are you? I'm your secretary. That's right. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> uh. Share yourself. This is your time to let everything go. Jason. My name is whatever you want it to be. In my journey on the desert, as I'm gone, you know, hiding from Satan, which isn't easy. Where do we get these people? Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. <laughs> which kind of makes me God. Yeah. What's keeping me from my enlightenment? Is the mice. Yeah, it's like there's, there's this guy in it. I imagine him, and it's like he, he tells me to do things. I love to crush them. Remember, be mindful of your anger. Here he goes. Yeah, oh, listen to that look, guy. I... Be mindful of your anger. Well, here's the deal, guys. I'm just... I'm just... tired of being the figment of somebody's imagination. Right? Tourist. She follows me around everywhere. She showed up in my yoga class, my Tibetan studies class. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, those classes are already in session. You can't do that. Shut up and take the credit card, okay, Daddy? Okay, Mommy. Right this way. So, what are we talking about? Sexual deviance during our childhood? We were talking about a paddle. Ooh, what's a paddle? A paddle is what the five calls a habitual tendency you've used throughout your life to survive. You know, like the excuses you use to paddle through your bullshit. Oh, right. Kind of like how I like to have sex with random strangers to fill the emptiness inside. 
stemming from the lack of love and attention from my father? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I don't know what you're doing later if you want to get there. Oh, you're not supposed to have that on in here. I'm a heart surgeon. I'm on call. I believe you. Are you going to answer that or just let it ring? Hold these. <sighs> Orpheum. Do I really feel like talking to him right now? He's so demanding. You know Orpheum? Not really. I met him at a club one night. I gave him my number because I thought he was cute, but he keeps calling. Hey! I'll handle this. Hello. Hello, Nuvo. How did you know I would answer this phone? I'm standing over here. See me in the window? Listen, don't draw attention to me or yourselves. You're in danger, Nuvo. You have to get you and your friends out of here. They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Look for yourself. Shit. How do we get out of here? Get up and walk out slowly. Just walk out? Yes. And take the hottie with you. Shit. What do you say? Does he have my money? Shit, we've got to get out of here. We're scrub. We got to do it. Hey, let's, uh, let's hide. He said to just get up and walk out. Oh, bullshit. No, no, this is a trap. This is a fucking trap. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> And there, snuggled between those perfect breasts, the federales interrupted my breakthrough. My name is Frank. What's keeping me from enlightenment? It's my wife. It's my wife. It's my wife. That's Angela, the postcog. Don't you mean precog? Yeah, well, she worked for the government when they thought she was precognitive. Then they realized she only sees stuff that's already happened. Burger. Burger? Yeah, I had a burger for lunch. Either that or she's still hungry. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we gotta go. It's not safe here. Federales are definitely on their way. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. They got Chad. Wait a second. How do you know that? She told me. She sure gets around. <laughs> we have to go. Orpheum is waiting. We get to see Orpheum? Holy shit. Let's go. God uh -huh. damn it. Who's that? That's Fenity. She's a really nice lady. She has really nice pants. She likes to touch me.
was it me? I didn't, I didn't do that. Well, okay, I mean, I was, I was there, but it, hey, I didn't fuck that kid. That's not, that's superimposed. I don't do that to animals. That kid told me he was in the fourth grade, lying sack of ass. Okay, now that, that I did do. <clears throat> that I did. It was, it was fun. Well, as you can see, Mr. Henderson, we have had our eyes on you for some time. It seems as though you've been living a few lives. In one life, you are Finn Chad Henderson, grandson and partial heir to Fanny Smith Wilson. You are a good consumer, and you help support the war effort, and you even help your grandmother change her diapers. Your other lives are lived as a, a wombat collector, distributor of defective dildos, underwater basket weaver, and uh, an exotic drug guinea pig for a dealer called Theo. Hey, look, he just gives me the good stuff and I take it. Seems, Mr. Henderson, that you helped finance one of his little endeavors. We understand that recently you have been contacted by a man who calls himself Orpheum. He is considered by many authorities to be public enemy number one. Whoa, I didn't know Orpheum was a rapper. My comrades, I think I'm wasting my time with you, Mr. Henderson. They tell me you're an idiot. I, I think they're right. We're willing to let bygones be bygones. Give you a new start, provided that you give us information that may lead to the arrest of a known criminal. How about I give you the finger? Mm. And you give me. But tell me, oh, Mr. Henderson, what good is your finger if you are unable to pick your nose with it? Stakes up. Mm, good. Oh, it's like, uh, it's like bliss. Huh. Damn good. Mm. It's a good year. So, uh, <clears throat> what can I tell you, fellas? We need him delivered to us. Um, uh, oh, he lives in the valley. Shut up. How's my sink? <clears throat> Anubo, I want to tell you something, but I'm afraid of what it might bring. What? <sighs> 
thought we had something. We did. We did. And you had it with Theo. Matt, just when I was getting used to the thing. What thing? Oh, yeah. Don't hate me. I'm just following my path. Your path? What's your path? To have sex with everyone? <laughs> That's good. Shut up. It's difficult to explain. In my own way, I'm looking for the other one as well. The orifice told me that I was. Suck it up, Sonny. She said the same thing last week to some other putts. Shut up, Harold. Harold? You fucked him too? Twice. Damn! God! <laughs> Damn it! You know, can you fuck Angela the postcard? You're fucking so up this What? What's up, baby? Can you see that we're having a discussion here? What? What did they do to you, Chad? They tortured me! To get information? No! They tortured me after I told them everything. You what? You told them everything? You rat! Oh, hey! Okay. Calm down, man! Damn! Can't you see he's had enough? Oh, oh, oh what the fuck? Get that shit out of my face! He's bugged. He has to be. We gotta clean him up. Get him over to that table. What's wrong with him? He's got a bug. I have to shoot it out of him. Wait! Won't that kill him? Maybe. How about a cookie? A cookie could work. I love a cookie. Here you go, buggy buggy. Here, buggy buggy. Here you go, buggy. Uh, Walk you want a cookie? Oh, shit. Walk you want a cookie? Well. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. Ah! Warning. The following may be a bit disturbing. Any persons with an affinity for weasels should be advised to leave. Oh. is waiting. Well. Oh, Lord. Oh, look, guys. There's an idea. Let's go to the hospital, because I got a fucking hole in my chest. No way. We definitely have to go see Orpheum first. He'll know exactly what to do. Well, okay. This really hurts, man. I know. How's the bleeding? Oh, it's not so bad. No, fuck it. It's awful. Give me a sock or something. Okay. Relax. Here, take mine. Oh, thanks. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Where is he? I'm right here. Whoa. At last, you have arrived. As you might have guessed, I am Orpheum. It's an honor to meet you. No, Nuvo. The honor is all mine. But you're so small. Judge me not by size, then, Chad. Say that's quite a hole in your chest. Oh, thank you. I just got it. I'm Theo. I know who you are. You are Master Ping. <laughs> and you are definitely Swatch. Come in. Sit. 
I imagine that all of you may feel a bit like Lewis Carroll. Who's Lewis Carroll? He wrote Alice in Wonderland. Oh. You see, you may have spent the last few years looking for me, but I have been looking for all of you at least three years longer. Why? Because one of you is the other one. Why is it the other one? Several years ago, I found the one, but he died in an unfortunate boating accident. Since then, I've watched all of you very closely. Do you know why you're here? The Helix? Yes. Do you know what it is? A super drug that awakens us to our ultimate human potential? Yes. One of you will be able to take it without going completely insane. If you choose, it will grant you extraordinary powers. Powers! Powers that may seem impossible to sleeping minds. Is my mind asleep? What was asleep? Shut up. Yes. But soon you will be awake minds and see the truth. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the yellow bear, you'll go back to sleep and dream of being an 18-year-old girl taking a shower with Brad Pitt. You'll wake up, feel refreshed, and be horny as a weasel. Shut up, Chan. You take the green bear. Is this a test? There's no yellow bear. Where was I? The green bear. Yes. You take the green bear and see what you really know about what you know, what you don't know, you don't know, or think you know about what you don't know. What? Hey, where's the heart? Here you go. Chewy bear. Cherry. I want yours. Man, this is it. It's time to wake up, man. Damn. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Hey, was this the helix? Yes, a version of it, not full strength. I call this the single helix. Okay, sit up straight. Lick it, place the bear on your forehead. No harm will come to you that you will not bring on yourself. The first rule of the Helix is that you do not talk about the Helix. The second rule of the Helix is you do not talk about the Helix. The third is anything can happen in the Helix. Timeless, spaceless, complete emptiness. Be mindful of your thoughts in this place. Thoughts. my power animal. Glide. The last thing I will tell you about the Helix is, if this is your first time on the Helix, you will have to fight. Whoa. I think I know Wing Chung. Wing Chung? 
I love the Wing Chun. Everybody's Wing no. Chun sometimes. No. Wing Chun. Kung Fu. Man, what are you wearing? You look like a nut juggling ass jockey. I don't know. That's much better. But I still think I know Wing Chun. Don't think. No. Come on. Now show me your money. Do you think that what I did had anything to do with my enormous muscles, or my Hercules-like strength, or my cat-like reflexes, or my genius fighting strategy, or my huge genitals? Now, who wants to go next? Me? Why would it be me? No. Do or do not, there is no why. Oh, good. Then no, do not. Now you two, go. <laughs> My name is Ping Motoyashi. You killed my papa. Prepare to die. Dude, I did not kill your father. You gave him that nasty lay shit. You did, man. Man, your father died of a heart attack. You're making me sober. You won't like me when I'm sober. <laughs> Yes, improv adaptation. The monkeys can evolve. Do you know which one of them is the other one? I thought you would know. I mean, after all, didn't you fall for Nouveau already? Just because I had sex with him doesn't mean that I'm in love with him. Well, we will just have to take them to see the orifice. He will know. That was amazing. We fought like, like, 
Well, I don't know what we fought like, but it was incredible. Well, let me help you to understand. This is what actually happened. Fight against someone, and you fight against yourself. You must free your mind to the illusion of separation. The biggest struggle is against yourself. What the fuck does that mean? So, does that mean that I'm the other one? No, it means that I'm the other one. No, no, I'm no the you other goofy one. fucker. That means I'm the other one. No, 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 Infinity. Yes? Can I ask you a question? Yes. The Orphis. Who is he exactly? The Orphis is very, very old and has been with us from the beginning. The beginning of what? The revolution. Well, that's what I mean. I don't understand what that's about. It's about finding your own truth instead of being forced to believe in someone else's limited version of it. And you will show us the truth through the helix? Swatch. You will soon come to realize that there is no real truth. There is only your truth. And only in finding your truth can you find your true enlightenment. It's all so complicated. When you're ready, you realize that it is actually very simple. Infinity. Yes. What did the Orphis tell you? Swatch, I want to tell you something, but I'm afraid of what it might bring. Oh, no. Oh, God. You can tell me anything. Have you ever had sex with An entire football team? <laughs> Shut up, Harold. You know him? Yes. No. Oh, never mind that. You see, the Orphus told me that I would sex with the other one and then you know maybe fall in love with him you know for a guy she really is pretty hot Yeah, we're going to see the orifice. Uh, somewhere in the ghetto? Yeah, I'll just track my phone. Yeah, I'll use the tracking device and see. Look, I gotta go. Yeah, I love you too. Oh, uh, no, Grandma, I can't change the diaper today. Sorry. Who are you talking to? Oh, my grandma. Let's go.
to the barber shop. Go on. Who are they? Oh, these are the other maybes. Ow. Ouch. What are you doing with that spoon? Do not try to bend the spoon. It is not possible. Instead, try to see the truth. What truth is that? Fork is much easier to bend. What are you doing? Walking through walls. Okay. Orpheum thinks we all have our truths and you are all trying to find yours. Well, how are we supposed to figure out which one of us is the other one? I don't have a crystal ball or a magic wand. Hell, I haven't seen anything since 1942. But what I can do is help you get on your own path. But you do know, right? I mean, I mean, you oh, know which one of us. I know is that I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a front of a bottom. Twice, Joyce. I want all of you to just drop your pants and bend over. Oh, it's a bad fucking idea. Hey. I remember the last time someone asked me to do that. Only bad things happen. Just shut up and do it. I gotta get a good look at you. But... You're blind. Now bend over or no one gets a cookie! Sir, I don't think that I want a cookie. Shut the fuck up, motherfucker! Bend your ass over, you first! Annally probed, and all you get is a cookie. What the hell is just then? What for you? And you alone. Fredo. What's wrong, Infinity? Ping and chatter gone. Not me on my ass. Three like, uh, cherry flavor? Not Jerry and Red Tail. Oh. Hey, Ma. You guys want to try something amazing? Uh, you silver dildos don't have anything we want. <laughs> you need to think again, man. Don't you know who we are? Olson? 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 Oh, no. no. We are the twins. <laughs> you don't really look like twins. Well, we are, man, and we know the, the secrets of the human. 
Is that the... the... Double helix. Oh. Come on. And we having special today? Two, four, one. Hmm? All right. How much? How about $200? $200. Oh, Pin, you got anything? All right, all right, we'll give it to you for 20. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Give me that. My pleasure, man. Oh, there can be only one. Me too. Boy, are they gonna be surprised. <laughs> 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 oh, it's me, Chad. Suckers, man. <laughs> nice work. Will it immobilize them? <laughs> yeah, man. There's enough tranquilizer in there. To kill an elephant. Or two. <laughs> I'll secure your appearance on Shaw Na Na. Shaw Na Na, man. You hear him don't be like the Bowser, man? I love That's Shana. right. Don't forget it. <laughs> Good shit, man. Yeah. Who are you? And why are you wearing my clothes? Yeah, he said I could wear it. I mean, it's a nice outfit. Where the hell have you guys been? Helix. Double helix. Not good. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Wow. What did you guys take? There are these guys on the street, and they had the double helix, and uh, they said it was clean, and... Swatch, give me a red marker. Oh, man, Ping, not again. I'm sorry I killed your papa. Oh, What's this for? Don't die. Ping's heart stopped from the overdose. I need to inject adrenaline directly into his heart in order to get it pumping again. Here you go. Do it, do it, do it. What are you doing? I have to stab him. From way up there? I have to pierce through his chest plate. Okay. One. Agency, and you have insulted the five temple.
They got our fan. You ever ponder the essence of it? Marvel at the congestion and the chaos. Isn't it amazing that billions and billions of people live out their lives day in, day out? Slaves to their vehicles, bank accounts, and taxes, believing that that is all there is. But you and I know something else, don't we, Orpheum? Infinitely more worlds than we can ever possibly imagine. You see, Orpheum. We cannot let you do what you are trying to accomplish. You must understand, Orpheum, that the monkeys are not ready to be awoken. They are not ready to see what you want them to see. You see, Orpheum, you are going to help us whether you like it or not. We need the formula to the helix. If you choose not to help us, we can make your situation even more uncomfortable. Increase the frequency. Like Beethoven, do well, What are we supposed to do now? He was more than just a father to me, more than just a lover. A father? I'm gonna miss Orpheum. What are you guys talking about? You can't just let the agents take him. What are you gonna do, give up on him? Shit. What the hell do they want with him anyway? They want the helix. Why? By teaching their philosophy and their global government and economy structures, they've been placed as the gatekeepers to happiness. If the helix were to be released, the Five's classes would crumble, their stocks would crash, and the global economy would topple. You see, enlightenment of all people is not profitable in our current economic model. What's that got to do with drugs? A lot, I think. It does have to do a lot. That's cool. I'm going to share something with you. 
that I've observed while working here at the Five. The people do not want to take your pill. They may think they do, but they do not. People like their plush couches and their cable TV. They enjoy their morning crappuccinos and their weekend golf lunches. What you are doing is irresponsible against their true nature. There must be order and organization to the methods of enlightenment. Five is well equipped to handle this task. You are not. Orpheum's gone. All right, we gotta go downstairs, back up his shit, and then we'll move in and start our own operation. Chad, you are such a fucking weasel. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to save Orpheum. How are you going to do that? The Five has him in a federally controlled building. I don't know. But I was told that this situation would arise. Orpheum believed in me. No one else has ever believed in me in my entire life. Well, there were these surfers one time, but they turned out to be bank robbers. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Orpheum believed in me, and I believe that I'm the other one. Well, I believe that you can't do it alone. Well, then I'm going too. I believe you gave me my help. Me too. I believe. I believe. I believe I'm going to get shot. I believe you're a bunch of crazy monkey dicks. So how are we going to do this? Drugs. Lots of drugs. Leave me alone with him. What? Leave me alone with him. Share a secret with you, Orpheum. There is something about this place that really displeases me. All oh, that is bullshit. It's the smell. No matter how enlightened I get. I still feel trapped in the filth of being human. But I want out. You hear me? Inside this cranium somewhere is the key to the helix, and with it, I can get out of here. You can help me in more ways than you know. exactly where we want to be. Either that or they ran out of money to shoot the scene that goes before this one. Say what? Uh, I don't know. It just seems too easy to me. Well, what do you want? Some alarm to go off or something? Oh, no. oh, my head is back. Great. You happy now? Yeah. I was starting to feel a little creepy. Let's go get Ophian. Yeah. Starting to miss a little guy. Come on, say it. The formula for the helix is. Come on, Martin. Go do it. Say it. Who's your ace? Who's your smash guy? Who's your smash guy? Don't make me go over there. What? What? What is it? Uh, sir, we have intruders. We think it's Infinity. She's probably attempting to rescue him.
Jurem! Jurem a lot! Mr. Henderson, surprised to see me? God, you're such a weasel. Please get ready to tumble. In the black suits and sunglasses, agents crack, smack, and jones in. On the other side, the disciples of doom, the monks of funk, our hero! Most excellent. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. Ah! 
kick his ass. So does that mean he's the other one? Yeah. I mean, he's the other one, huh? Yes. Whoa. Oh. oh, wow. That was unbelievable. Man. Uh, are you okay? No. I definitely threw my back out. Or just throw it to. I'll go get it. Maybe not. It doesn't work that way. Are you Man, sure you don't hurt? Forget it. Just go away, please. Um, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, stop. Collaborate. Listen to each other. So is Theo the other one, or Tyrone? Yes. Oh! 
wish I could have got to know you better. Can you hook a brother up? You're not gonna die, Tyrone. All right? You just have to believe. Right, guys? Yeah. <sighs> Hold on, Tyrone. I'm not going to let you die. Why not? Because I love you too damn much. Now hold still. What? What are you doing? Get above the shirt! Oh, man! Oh, he's gonna be all right, though! <laughs> Come on, everybody. All we have to do is believe. Don't you believe in fairies? After watching this exchange, I believe in fairies. <laughs> yeah. I believe. Do you believe in fairies? Come on, everybody. Clap your hands if you believe. Everybody, clap your hands if you believe. Come on, West Hollywood. East Greenwich Village. Come on, San Francisco. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Thanks, guys. I knew you loved me. You see, now do you believe? Hey, Orpheum, you're black! Okay, I believe in everything, but am I the other one, or is he? Hey, this is so not fair. I'm supposed to be the other one, all right? I'm the one who paid to get the double helix, therefore, I'm the one you've been looking for. The Orifice told me that I was the other one. He told me. And Infinity slept with me. Nouveau. Infinity slept with everyone. Oh. Yeah, right. So I don't get it. Is, is this it? Oh, I thought the other one was the only one that could take the double helix. We all took it! You have fought the agents by finding your truth. Through that, reaching your full potential. Becoming all the other ones. I must apologize to all of you. I did this only because I had to. This is glow-in-the-dark Goofy Putty. Son of a whore! Does this mean I get my money back? Shut up, Chad. Does that mean the Helix isn't real? Reality is only your perceptions of it. So, is this the end? It is only just the beginning. I know you can hear me, people of Earth. I've come to show you the truth. You might not be ready for it, but it is coming. Do not be afraid of a world without borders or limits, except maybe speed limits for safety. Unless, of course, you're on a bus with a bomb on it. You can't go below 55 miles per hour, but that's a whole other story. You might still be asleep, but it is time to wake up. I'm going to show you the truth. A world where nothing is impossible. I'm not going to tell you how this is going to end. Because it just did. What happens now is a choice I leave to you. Vaya con Dios. And definitely be excellent to each other. <laughs>